pick that round. Whether or not he'll get it given is another matter. But Evans not terribly impressive thus far. Trying to walk through Kirillov's punches to try and get in close and land his trademark hooks. Kirillov's not doing a bad job tying him up. See, Kirillov doesn't really know what he's doing half the time. Switches up or switches orthodox, but can't fight off of either hand with any real effect. You're trying to say he can't fight? Well, he's not very well scored, that's what I'm trying to say. But he can land a couple of decent shots, as he has done, uppercuts, and enough to have marked up Bradley Evans. Tough lad. Well, he is. And these punches aren't having the desired effect from Evans. He's forcing the fight well enough and he's getting close well enough, but it's just bouncing off of Kirillov's ch chin. Evans has to be careful because, you know, the heads come desperately close. They could easily get a cut in there. Kirillov's having no trouble at all in landing on Evans. That's a good shot. Good left hand that was which started this attack from Evans. And Evans desperate to put in a good performance run, he's, he's, he's on to uh, his crowd. He's got a big support. I can't help but think he's making really hard work of this one. He just hasn't settled into a rhythm. Can't get into a rhythm. He's taking plenty of shots as well. Might not be pretty what Kirillovs has done. Oh, good right hand. Yeah, that hurt. And also, when you're fighting a bigger man, a physically bigger man, you know, it saps your strength. Oh, there's that left hook again by Kirillovs. Evans shouldn't be a sucker for that, though. No, he's, but he's, it's his intent because he's trying to just force the fight, get through in the fight. He's just trying to walk him down, he's trying to walk through the punches. You can't do that. Last few seconds of the third round. Bradley Evans certainly not having things all his own way. Oh, that's better. Kirillov suddenly on a little bit of anxious territory. Referee having a very close look at this. Kirillov holds on and survives. Takes a big left hand right on the bell. Knocked out Kirillov's gun shield. He looked to a work. little bit unsteady, did, didn't he, as he went back? Yeah, Johnny, and he's had to work particularly hard, you know, for these first three rounds, just to get that one shot on. <laughs> Referee will score this contest, Richie Davis. It is extremely hot in here. It's going to be a gruelling fight. This title fight still to come. Darren Barker against Darren McDermott. The big one still for you to come on ITV4. Kirillovs has dug deep in this round. Well, he won't want to get stopped or knocked out if he can help it, obviously. Uh, still looking to try and find a way, but it's another hook there by, by Evans. The kid off ties him up. Look, Evans got hold of the right arm on the inside. Evans timing his roll on the inside now to better perfection. He's rolling under and looking for that left hook again. Bradley Evans not looking as though he's going to get the stoppage victory that he craved. They have to go the distance again. And I think it's certainly a valid question as to whether or not he's really got the power as a lightweight. Well, 
you know, it will be a question of back to the drawing board. He's going to look at the weight issue, I believe. You know, some boxers do blow up between fights, put on a lot of weight, and then manage to find a way to reduce the weight, come back down to their natural fighting weight. It's been a tough last round, this bumping and boring with the heads. It's a good left hand from Evans. He desperately craving this spectacular finish for a small legion of fans who's followed him to Watford. Oh, right nice uppercut oh, again dear. from Kirillovs. And Evans just has to soak it up. Well, you know, for me, Evans is obviously going to win this fight, barring, you know, a, a, a calamitous knockout or anything like that, but it's far too hard for me. This is only his second fight, and it's far too hard. Last few seconds of a fight, which has turned out to be very much more of an examination than Bradley Evans might have hoped. He's going to be taking the distance again. Now this rugged man from Latvia. And there we are, who's going to get the verdict?